Welcome back from page to stage. If you have kids, chances are you've read Mo Willems' Elephant and Piggy books. Well, the Cardboard Playhouse Theater Company is bringing the world of Elephant and Piggy to life in an upbeat musical that weaves through eight of his most popular books, including Elephants Cannot Dance, I Love My New Toy, and Should I Share My Ice Cream? To tell us more about the story adaptations, we are joined by co-artistic directors of the production, Doug Montoya and Kristen Berg. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. You guys are telling me a little bit about the show before in the break, but this is the first time that you guys have worked together on a show. What's that been like? So we've been directing together for almost 20 years now, but this is the first time we've been in a show together. Gotcha. Yes. And it was kind of like a uh, knee-jerk kind of thing because we were trying to figure out some programming. A couple of things fell through, and we thought, well, what if we did a show together? Um, so uh, we were just like quickly kind of put it together, and then we were like thinking, wait a minute, we need a director. So we directed ourselves. You guys in the are doing show. the whole thing. Yeah, the whole <laughs> thing, right? Uh, but we we do have to give lots of credit to our music director, Maddie Frost, who helped us um, hit those right notes and figure out how we were going to present the show. Yeah. So thank you, Maddie. <laughs> now, you guys, what was the inspiration between behind adapting? these books. So we didn't adapt them, but uh, Mo Williams worked with the Kennedy Center to okay. get those books adapted for a musical. Um, and it yeah, it was commissioned by yeah. yeah, it was commissioned by the Kennedy <laughs> Center and uh, and it ran for a while and it, it was just an adorable story. And I, I feel like right now because there's so many stressful things going sure. on everywhere, even like in our theater there's so many stressful things <laughs> and it's all great. But this is really there's no stress except the fact that he you know, can't decide whether he's going to share his ice cream or not. But that's as stressful as it gets. You should always share your ice cream, right? That's what happens, he right? He also breaks Piggy's toy, and that's a whole oh, other. Yes, no. but, just, but other than that, everything is resolved, and it's cute, and it's funny. Um, and one of the things that we did when we did this, when we put, decided to do this project, is we decided to tell the children that we work with, that we've been working with for many, many years, so we've decided that we're going to put our money where our mouth is. So we ask the kids to always make big choices, to feel confident, don't censor themselves. And so we are putting all that into practice so that they, we can show them that like, we're not going to censor ourselves. We're Encouraging not, yeah. them to be who they are. Yeah, That's exactly. awesome. Now yeah. tell us a little bit about the play. You guys were explaining to me in the break that it's kind of the modern day frog and toad, if you will. Yeah, very Ernie and Bert, frog and toad, these two, two little, best two, friends. two best friends. We're kind of opposites, like a couple kind of situation. Yeah. Elf and Gerald's very stressed out and worried about things all the time. And Piggy is always there to reassure him and is the calming influence. But you don't want to make Piggy mad. Yeah. 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 Don't make Piggy mad because <laughs> yeah. she gets real mad. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about the special breakfast theater show. Cool. So we've got a breakfast show tomorrow uh, at eight at ten a.m. and uh, and included in your ticket is a continental breakfast. And we're hoping people come in their jammies and oh. bring blankets and pillows. And, and your pillows. And we're going to pull all the seats out of the theater, and everybody's going to sit on the ground on the risers with pillows and blankets and bagels. And oh my gosh! It sounds like so coffee? much fun. Not There's going to be not, kid, not kids. Not for the kids. Coffee. They'll yeah. be juice. But juice. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Great morning for families. Where is it and what time? One more time. It's at the Box Performance Space okay. downtown on the corner of 2nd and Gold. You can get your tickets at theboxabq.com. And um, also you'll be able to get tickets at cardboardplayhouse.org, okay. which is basically the theater company presenting this. Uh, we're so excited because we're going to be doing Anastasia later mm -hmm. on uh, in January. We're going to get back to our uh, regular programming next year. Very yeah. cool. So yeah. this Saturday is the breakfast show. Mm -hmm. One more time for us, where the w the website? Uh, CarboPlayhouse.org or the Box ABQ. Those Perfect. are two easy ones. Yeah. Thanks again, guys, for being here.